Well, after Mueller's remarks yesterday, it wasn't simply the Democratic presidential field that lost its mind. Hollywood obviously did too, led by actor Robert De Niro. He started a new public service announcement that claims the president obstructed justice. Watch this. You may have seen me on Saturday Night Live as a certain federal prosecutor. That was acting. But now we're going to hear from some real federal prosecutors. I have so much admiration for their intelligence and dedication to their work. Recently, over a thousand former federal prosecutors who served under both Republican and Democratic presidents have united to sign a statement to help Americans understand what's actually in the Mueller report. Their conclusion should trouble us all. In the words of the Mueller report, no person is above the law. <laughs> No person is above the law. But certain rich, well-known people would like an outsized role in guiding what America does next. Robert De Niro would fit into that small category. This is part of a long-term obsession De Niro has with Donald Trump. Here's another example. It's just beyond surreal what this guy has done. You called him a mutt. He's a mutt. You still believe he's a mutt? Every word I said then, I, I mean today. This idiot is the president. The guy is a f fool. Come on. How dare he say the things he does? Of course I want to punch him in the face. Right. It's a man who yells at his driver, speaking on behalf of all of us in a rich person world. Mark Stein is an author and columnist. One of our favorite guests joins us tonight. So what do you, I mean, I, I don't understand, and I, I know we've talked about this before, but why is it if you're Robert De Niro or any of these people, the very pinnacle of American society, that you're monomaniacal about Trump? Why the obsession? Well, I, I think it gets back to uh, the, uh, the the famous line uh, uh, back when Nixon uh, won, uh, and uh, the New Yorker's film critic uh, wrote that she didn't know anyone who voted for Nixon. Yes. In this case, it's even worse uh, that they don't know anyone who they all loathe Trump. They don't know anyone who voted for Trump, and therefore, because they see themselves as exemplars of ordinary, everyday Americans. Trump cannot have won, which is why this whole Russian collusion thing got going. And it's interesting to me, for example, that, there's, that we're doing real damage to important aspects of our society in letting Robert De Niro make the running on this. Robert De Niro introduces a group of about 12 prosecutors on that video, representing a thousand Democrats and Republicans who, uh, who say that uh, Trump is guilty of obstruction of justice. Now, two things. If you thought Trump was really guilty of obstruction of justice and you wanted to do impartial justice, why would you stick a man who's most famous for saying F Trump at the Tony Awards on the front of that video? Whatever yeah. that is, that's, that's not even the pretense of impartial justice. And secondly, just to go back to what you and Sean were talking about with this new standard uh, whereby you have to be proclaimed innocent by the state. It's not enough just to be not guilty. You have to be proclaimed innocent. We have something weirder going on with these thousand prosecutors. We have a jury of prosecutors. That is complete uh, Alice in Wonderlandification <laughs> of, the, of, of the balance of common law law for a thousand years. It's a complete nonsense, Tucker. But doesn't it make it easier? I mean, you don't really have to worry about the outcome when you have the prosecutors acting as the jury. You know the verdict right. is going to be guilty, right? So isn't that just a, a sort of streamlined process? Yeah, I know, especially with dirty, rotten, stinking, corrupt federal justice, to praise what I've said on your uh, show before. You know, this is why it's important to know the date at which... At, at which Robert Mueller knew there was no collusion That's right. or conspiracy. Because everything after that just goes to the American method of the process is the, the punishment. And, and for Trump to be indicted for obstruction of justice for something he said six months after Robert Mueller knew there was no collusion or conspiracy would be a perversion even by the mountain of perversions that federal justice has heaped on traditional common law protections. I would not want to be charged with a crime right now. I never thought I'd say that. Uh... I'd no, be worried. No. I'd be worried. No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll drive you across the border to Canada. <laughs> Get under the top in my pickup, uh, Tucker. It's a free deal, because you can't win with these guys. It feels that way. Mark Stein, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Tucker.